We launched the GR Yaris last year and ever since the car hit South African soil, it's been such a phenomenal success. It sold out even before launch and I think just the performance of this vehicle, the fanfare, the global enthusiasm for this car just logically made sense for us to do something super exciting and bring the car to the track. So we were fortunate to have six of these GR Yaris's in our fleet. They were our marketing vehicles intended for promotional usage and instead of defleeting them we decided to convert them into race cars which are now being raced at the track by our partnering motoring media. The car is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you're looking at all-wheel drive, this little 1600 turbocharged engine, it's a three-cylinder, so that sound is beautiful. And you know, it brings me back to the days of production cars, where you can literally take a standard car, put it in a roll cage, and go racing. I think it's a great idea. As we know, Volkswagen Polo Cup has been a very successful base for grassroots motorsports. It's cool to have Toyota come along and introduce something that has the potential to rival that. And it just shows that there are manufacturers out there who are ready to invest money into South African motorsport and more cars on the grid and it becomes another breeding ground for South African motorsport talent. The slogan for the GR Yaris is the rally car for the road. It's like a big go-kart, now it's phenomenal. It's basically stock. The only thing they've done is put in a roll cage, a race seat, some semi-sick tires, but everything else is completely standard, the engine's standard. No other manufacturer delivers an engine like this. It's a three-cylinder 1.6 with nearly 200 kilowatts. It's an insane engine and they've now just developed it even further for GR Corolla, which is now over 210 kilowatts. Such great engineering that goes into an engine like this. Part of the reason why the GR Yaris is exceptional is that Finnish rally driver Tommy McKinnon helped with the development of the car. Although retired from racing, he now heads the Toyota Gazoo rally team as team principal. Famous racing drivers helped hone the dynamics of the GR Yaris for optimal performance on any road surface. Exceeding your expectations in every gear change, in every braking point, in every corner, you know, there's a little bit better than you expect. Coming from a rally car background where everything's bespoke for rally, to incorporate a little bit of that into a road car and give you that feeling. Yeah, the car is fantastic. Huh? Local off-roader and rally driver Leroy Poulter has a long-standing relationship with Toyota. He's helping all the journalists to hone their skills. To be in this car is first of all great. Then to train all the, the guys that are in the series uh, this year. We found two and a half seconds already this morning, which is obviously good for them as well to try and make the racing closer. To help even up the playing field, three days before round two of the racing event, some of the drivers with less racing experience were given the opportunity to further advance their skills. After one-on-one -on -one sessions with the drivers, Leroy kept a watchful eye from the pit wall. It's just a case of getting your technique as the driver right to go around the track as fast as possible. I can see my improvements, you know, having started the series, and my times are just getting better and better the more I go around. So it's practice, 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 and more practice. Getting it into corners is more of a challenge because I'm only used to front-wheel drive cars around a circuit. So it's been a bit of a learning experience, but the car is very friendly, very easy, and so far very fun to drive. And it's always good to have a female amongst all the men, eh? You need to be a little bit more aggressive. It's either you're braking or you're on the throttle. You can't be dilly dallying in between. So it's to just find that balance and that rhythm. The car is so good that you can drive the car, you know, quite a bit harder where they, they're they not sure of that at the moment. So as soon as we pull out all the limits, they got it right. From braking to accelerating, the faster you can do that, the faster you go. So this is the second segment of our GR Yaris Cup. We had the first race in Cape Town at the Kilani Raceway. It was quite a nice opportunity for everyone to get a feel for the car and to get that competitive streak rolling. And now I see these guys are like in full swing. I know they're not saying it yet, but the competition is rife. Yeah, I think it's just great to see how these cars perform in a setting like this. So my main rival would definitely be Ashley Oldfield. He's a phenomenal driver. He's always been quick. He was close in qualifying. So hopefully going into the first race, we'll have a good battle. Thomas and Ashley both talented race drivers. So sort of catching them is not easy. Maybe us sort of third and fourth place guys can capitalize on a little bit of defending from them and a little bit of maybe a miss a brake marker. I'm quickly learning about the highs and lows of, of the day in motorsport. I came from Kilani fastest in every session, won both races, so I've lost fourth 
completely, the Synchros are gone there. So I'm going to have to learn to drive around it. I think third to fifth is my best option, but I'm going to try not to get in everyone's way while that happens. Or maybe that's my strategy is to get in everyone's way. Race one at Swarkov's Raceway proved to be an exciting affair. Third and fourth place, Sean Nurse and Mark Jones both blitzed the start and moved into the top two positions right from the get-go. Thomas Falconer managed to dive up and inside on turn two to wrestle third place from Ashley Oldfield. The racing was neck and neck with no driver willing to give an inch. The top order remained unchanged until Mark Jones was squeezed out on the corner leading onto the straight and an error just before the hairpin dropped him further down the field to fourth. Final positions for race one saw Nurse, Falconer, Oldfield and Jones finishing in that order. That result made Nurse a very, very happy man. Just a bit of a surreal moment and incredibly pleased first race, first win. It's a, it's a dream. I'm shaking. Look at that. I can't believe it happened. It's unbelievable. It's the most incredible feeling I've ever had. Be sure to catch all of the Yaris GR racing action on both race one and two as part of the Extreme Festival on Ignition TV.